What's up guys? It's Amanda. Happy Artsy Fartsy Friday and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another time lapse for you of the November Zodiac Challenge. Now, just in case you're confused and you're looking at your calendar to see what day it is, I know it is not November, but my goal for the Zodiac Project was to have all of the illustrations completed by October 21st so I can launch the calendar starting November 2nd. And it didn't really make a lot of sense to launch the calendar without showing you guys what the last two months of the calendar looked like. So I'm going to be releasing the November and December calendar illustration videos a little bit early just to show you guys what those months actually look like. I know if I were a November or December birthday and I hadn't seen what the November or December picture looked like in a calendar, I would not buy that calendar. So I kind of just wanted to have this project all done before I decided to launch the pre-orders and in this video I'm going to be addressing some of the questions about the pre-orders and just getting um, just some general announcements about the Zodiac project out there because we are rapidly approaching the pre-sale date so yeah I decided to slow this down a bit more too just so that the footage wasn't so sped up. I've been liking that lately especially with my traditional coloring videos just because I feel like you guys can actually see what the heck I'm even doing and hopefully that's more helpful to you, it's more educational um, and there is a lot of detail in these illustrations so I just feel like it makes more sense to slow it down and show you it piece by piece rather than trying to speed through it for the sake of fitting into YouTube's algorithm or whatever the internet's problem is that week. So anyway, I digress. This month's illustration features Scorpio, who's on the left, and Sagittarius, who is on the right. And Sagittarius is the final Zodiac character who's yet to be revealed, so this was a very exciting moment. I really love Sagittarius' design. She's kind of like this really badass fire warrior that's just like super cool and like tough and brave so <laughs> I really love her character design. She was one of my favorites actually. Um, originally I did want to make her a centaur like she is in the more traditional zodiac uh, symbolism but I just I couldn't bring myself to do it you guys. I was really getting to <laughs> the the wire with when I needed to have these illustrations done and I just did not feel like it would be very kind to myself to force myself to draw a centaur twice. Three times, because I have to draw the cover still as well. So, ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's a little rough. This actually wasn't even the video that I had planned to post today. I had planned to post another marker review, but because I want to launch the calendar by November and I want to have the two videos up, um, it just, I really needed to post this video today and it just didn't make sense to try and squeeze other videos into my schedule. Um, so I hope you don't mind. I will be posting non-Zodiac related content very, very soon, I promise. It's really just a matter of like getting all the Zodiac stuff done before that point. So I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the pre-sale process and how that's going to work and how um, just, there's just the whole process, so I'm just going to kind of break it down for you guys. And if you still have questions, please feel free to comment down below. I'm sure you're not the only one who has those questions, so it would be helpful not only to me, but to other, other people watching this as well. So, pre-sale for the Zodiac calendar starts on November 2nd, 2018. I will have a whole video announcing the pre-sale and everything, so you don't have to worry about missing it. Um, as soon as the video goes up, that's when you know the pre-sales are live. So probably start at my typical uh, <laughs> time for YouTube, uh, which is 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So yeah, don't worry. Um, the reason I'm doing pre-sale is because I want to get a sense of the demand for the Zodiac calendar and give myself enough time to fulfill those orders before shipping them out and still getting them to you before the holidays. 
um, and definitely before the new year starts. So that is why I'm doing the pre-sale. I am not anticipating any issues with me getting the calendars out. Um, I don't see why that would be a problem. I do already have all of the materials and supplies that I need to put the calendars together and my boyfriend has so graciously volunteered to help me put them together. So it is a joint effort between both of us to get these calendars done. Um, so yeah, don't uh, don't worry about that. The pre-sale is just more for me to give <laughs> give myself a little bit of time to get ahead. Um, the calendar will be for sale uh, as well after the pre-sale closes, and I'm anticipating that the price once the pre-sale ends will just be a little bit higher, just to incentivize people to pre-order the calendars. I'm going to further incentivize the pre-sale by having pre-sale tiers available so that people can choose from three separate tiers which one they want to pre-order. So the first pre-order tier will be just the calendar. I don't have the exact price for the calendar yet and I really apologize for that. I know that that's probably going to be the number one question and I promise you by the time the Zodiac December illustration comes out I will have that price for you so that you can anticipate the price well before the pre-order launches. So please be patient with me. I promise that that information is coming soon. It's just taken a little bit of time for me to consider all of the costs that I've had to put into this calendar so far and to price it in a way that is both affordable to you guys but also um, makes sense for me. <laughs> so um, yeah, thank you for your patience on that and I hope you understand. Um, so the pre sale is going to take place on my store envy shop my store envy shop is only accessible through a direct link which is always in all of the description bars of my videos it's linked in my instagram profile so it's, it's really easy to find this link but if you were to go on storeenvy.com and search amanda elise my store and my products would not come up so that is why I emphasize the point that this is a store that is only available through this link. The reason that is it's only available through this link is because Store Envy has two options for stores and the free, quote unquote, free version of their store um, is only accessible through a direct link. So they won't promote your store in their marketplace, um, which is like the drawback, but the plus side is that it's free for you to have that store. Um, so that is why the store is set up the way that it is. Uh, and so there will be three tiers available like I mentioned. So the first pre-order tier will get you just the calendar, which if you just want the calendar and you're not interested in anything else, this is going to be the tier for you. The second reward tier, or I shouldn't say reward tier, <laughs> this isn't Patreon, but my brain is kind of jumbled. The second pre-order tier will feature the calendar, of course, all of the pre-order pre tiers will feature the calendar because that is what you're buying, you're buying the calendar. Uh, but in addition to the calendar, you also get a print of the cover illustration, which at this point is not completed, so I'm really sorry, um, but that will be announced very shortly as well, so don't mind that. Um, so you will get the calendar and you will get a print of the cover. I haven't quite decided what size the print will be yet. If you have any preferences on that, please let me know. I feel like 5 by 7 would be a little small, but... Um, I'm open to your suggestions. So it can't be a super large print. It definitely couldn't be larger than the calendar itself. And the calendar itself is 11 by 17. Um, and I don't know if I want to do super large prints, but that is why I'm coming to you in this video today to get some insight from you guys. And then the third and final pre-order tier will include the calendar, the cover print, and a sticker. And the stickers will be made from the Zodiac illustrations themselves. So I'm going to basically be scanning the Zodiac characters, um, cutting the backgrounds out, and making stickers. So when you order that third pre-order tier, you can ask for the Zodiac sticker that you would like. And you can request your Zodiac, your personal Zodiac sign, or you can just request your favorite Zodiac character from the project. And that will be sent to you in the third pre-order tier. So just to kind of recap, there's three pre-order tiers. The first one gets you just the calendar. The second one gets you the calendar and a print. And then the third one gets you the calendar, a print, and a sticker of your choice. So 
yeah, I'm really excited about the pre-orders. I've never done pre-orders before, so I think it will be a really good learning experience for all of us. And I just know that so many of you guys are excited about this project. You've really seen it come to life from the beginning. And it's been so cool just to see your reaction to these characters. For those of you who have drawn fan art of these characters, I cannot tell you how much that means to me. Just to see that my characters and my art inspired you to do art yourself is just so cool and amazing. So thank you for all of the support on this project. I really cannot say that enough because <laughs> it will never be enough. This, this year has been crazy and it's been a whirlwind of emotions and changes in my life, but this project has really kept me grounded. And although at moments it was really hard, um, there were other moments where it just really kept me going and I felt so inspired and I just wanted to keep working on this project because it was so fun and I love seeing everyone react to these characters. So I'm so close to the finish line where I can finally say that I did it, that I did 12 illustrations, 13 character designs, and then a cover illustration including 13 characters. Like that's just crazy to me and I can't believe that it's all finally coming to the end which is just so cool so yeah I feel like I could go on about this forever and ever and ever um but that would not be a very fun video would it so yeah um I guess what I wanted this video to be was just a chance for us to talk and um communicate openly about this project because this project would be nothing without you guys and I want it to be really important. Um, I, I just want your insight on this project because now that it's finally going to be available for sale, I feel like you guys should have your say and your voices be heard. So I am considering the prices for the calendars and I would love kind of just some some guidance or guidelines on, on what your budgets are for the as far as calendars go, I mean, this is an 11 by 17 inch calendar that features 12 illustrations that are, you know, print quality. And so it's basically like getting 12 prints in one thing, plus it's functional as a calendar. So I just want to know realistically what you feel is a fair price to pay for that and um, what you guys can, can afford because I want this to be accessible to you, my viewers, and I want to be fair to myself as an artist and I feel like the best way that I can do that is just be open and honest and collaborate with you guys on on that fact and if you have any insight on how I can better improve the uh, pre-order tiers or the payment process or anything like that let me know um, I'm also getting to uh, I'm getting closer to a pretty big milestone on my channel which is the 5,000 subscriber milestone and if I reach that before the end of this year, I would love to give away a calendar to one of you all. So, I don't know, I guess this is me saying I would really appreciate your support. If you um, have shared my channel with a friend of yours, thank you so much. Um, if you've shared my videos or you've liked my posts or you've commented on my artwork, thank you. Because that's really what's gotten me to this point. And that's what inspired me to do this crazy big project that's finally coming to an end after nearly a year. So yeah, the other thing that I wanted to say was that um, I plan to release a time lapse video of the cover illustration as well. And for the voiceover of that video, I wanted to just talk about everything I learned through this experience and how I think I improved as an artist and the struggles that I faced and all of those different things because I feel like that would be something really interesting just to hear about because this really has been such a learning experience and I look back at the first illustration I made back in January and I see everything that I liked about that piece at the time and now I look at just how much my art has grown and changed throughout this process so yeah um I feel like that was everything I had to say in this video um so i don't really know what else to add i guess i can just talk about how much i really like the way this illustration turned out um i used a lot of greens and purples 
And then there's this really bright, bold pop of red with Sagittarius because she's just this like big red warrior goddess and um, she really sticks out, which I love. And uh, I love that red. Her outfit is like my favorite. It's so gorgeous. Um, and you'll see Sagittarius again in December's illustration. And I love the way that that illustration turned out as well. I've been live streaming a lot too, so if you feel like you want to um, see these illustrations come to life in real time, definitely follow me over on Twitch. The Twitch family is so amazing and they're really welcoming. So if you are nervous about live streams or you don't really know what they're like, I don't mean to brag, but I feel like my Twitch following is super genuine and welcoming. Um, so my streams would probably be a good place to start, just saying. <laughs> um, so yeah, you guys who follow me over on Twitch, you know who you are and you know how much I love and appreciate you guys. And they really are there cheering me on real time as these illustrations come to fruition. <laughs> Um, and if you really cannot get enough Zodiac stuff in your life, go over to Patreon because Patreon has a lot of sneak peeks and they're usually the first to see these illustrations before anyone else. They are usually the ones to see the concept sketches unfold and pretty much everything Zodiac related and then some is over on Patreon. So I know that's kind of a shameless plug, but I put a lot of work in over there. So. <laughs> Go check it out if you're interested. If you're not, that's okay. Um, it's totally fine. But if you are, um, that's a good place to be. So, yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to cut this voiceover a little early just because I don't have anything else to say. And I don't feel like talking about nonsense. <laughs> Maybe you guys like that. I don't know. Let me know. What's your opinion on nonsense? Let me know down below. Actually, what you should let me know down below is who your favorite Zodiac character is from this series and what your favorite Zodiac illustration is for this year so far. I realize December's isn't out yet, but just so far, what your favorite illustration is. Let me know in the comments down below, and that's it for me today. I am going to let you guys go. I hope you all have an amazing weekend. And until next time, I will see you on the internet. Bye, guys.